Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Italy. In the last episode we won our war against France, or rather Germany's war against France since uh, they got something out of it but we didn't. They got uh, the Rhineland back from France. Um, we I suppose wouldn't necessarily have wanted anything, we could have added maybe uh, acquire state war gold or something but anyway. We did not get anything out of it, but we can now turn our attention to Austria, who of course have plenty of things that we want, namely a lot of cores, and I think they're probably weak enough for us to take them on ourselves, even with our ally Netherlands. We unfortunately can't call Germany into a war against them right now because they have a truce, but they have 90 brigades to our more than 90, plus we have a large tactics advantage. And I don't think we need to be too scared of the Netherlands. I have a smaller tactics advantage against them, but I think we should be alright to declare. I think we can probably just put our budget right back up and declare almost immediately. Just move our troops into position on their border in preparation for that. Access from Spain, and they're at war with Ethiopia, if I remember. I don't really want to help them out in that. Maybe I'll... I will just let them, it's fine. Why not? I don't know if it's ever going to be worth it for us to attack them for any of their colonies, so it doesn't really matter what they take, I guess. They are... just out of the great power rankings. If they drop a bit further, we could maybe try and sphere them. That is something, actually. We haven't got a sphere now since we... Uh, since we formed Italy, we integrated all of our former sphere members, so now we are without a sphere. We could probably look at sphering, I don't know, Sokoto, or if they drop further in the rankings, Spain, or, I don't know, maybe Switzerland or something, currently in France's sphere. Well, we'll maybe worry about that after we're done beating up on Austria here. So I think we have our troops all in place. Uh, yeah, okay, why not? We have our troops all in place, and we obviously don't need to justify a war goal since they have our cores, we can declare at any point. Uh, Baden, of course, is their other ally. Not sure we care about them either. No, two brigades. Basically irrelevant. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and declare right now then. We'll go for Venetia, I guess, first. We lose 100 prestige for adding this war goal. Why is that? Or is it just... If we were to add it during a war? Well, we'll see if we gain, or rather lose, 100 prestige here. We don't need to call our allies, we only have Germany and they have a truce and couldn't come in, so let's proceed. We did lose 100 prestige, okay. Oh well, we'll just hope to gain some more out of this war, we'll... Go straight in here and attack the neighboring armies. You can advance straight into the mountains there, and you head here, and you can head here and be ready to reinforce if necessary. E coffee and opium production and steel production output. Okay, we wiped out that army. You actually just continue to Treviso and send you in here. Okay, that battle is also over. In fact, you can go and intercept the retreating army there. You can enact a reform. We are finished with healthcare. I think we can probably move on to 
basic school system. Is going to be somewhat helpful. Did lose literacy when we formed Italy, of course. And we do have Austrian armies on the way over here. War between Italy and Austria. I know, we started it. And I'm not sure we want to immediately attack any of these armies. We'll finish a few more occupations first. I'm slightly worried about these somewhat isolated brigades down here with this army approaching. We'll just have them all meet up over here. Hopefully. We are being occupied. Not too concerned about just yet. In fact, why don't you go there and take care of that? Yeah, that is hills. I'd rather not let Austria get an army into there and start taking it back, but it looks like they're not trying to do that right now anyway. Okay, we want another occupation down here. Access from Yemen, or why not? Uh, you just stay in the mountains there for the moment. Another occupation here. We won that battle, lost an admiral. You are leaving now. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll advance through to here. to see where these Austrian armies have disappeared to before we spread out any further. Oh, and the Netherlands have landed an army down here. Well, I'm not sure we can really afford to try to transport troops over there since the combined Dutch and Austrian fleets are probably larger than our fleet. Maybe not more powerful, but probably better not to risk it if we don't have to. Akatoa explodes, okay. You were trying to head into Trent. We would rather not let you get into the hills there. Actually, they're already in hills. Uh, let's see, we can probably get this army there before them. They're occupying Milan, that's okay. We're gonna get there on the 28th. We'll be there on the 30th, so we'll be receiving them in the hills, which is better. Then we can reinforce and hopefully win a pretty good battle there. You head up here, please. Okay, we'll reinforce from here and also here. Hopefully this will go well. We certainly have the numbers. They are trying to take back Verona. We'll be able to deal with that hopefully after this battle. Same with that. That was a massacre, okay. Great, uh, 15 war score from that. Maybe you'd be able to just peace out. Or we could add an additional war goal. I think there's no reason not to sort of press our advantage as far as possible and add more war goals. We'll probably just wait to see if they are willing to peace out first. We should be able to win a few more battles here easily enough. Okay, we did lose an occupation down there. I guess we're just going to ignore that not going to matter too much in the whole scheme of things, I think. Okay, so we are fighting there. Let's reinforce this battle, just to make sure of it. This army has a terrible composition because it is made up of the last few brigades I was building, which were mostly artillery. 
We can't really afford to go and attack this army, but it's not going to be able to siege that too quickly anyway. We'll just ignore it for now. We won an occupation here. You are heading into the hills of Trent, which we would rather you didn't, but I don't think we can actually stop you right now. Now let's move to Treviso here. Okay, we won in Verona too. And you are actually retreating to Trent right now. I guess we'll just commit to that and also head in with this army. Even though it's hills, I think we should be fine. Then we'll send this 37 and this 60 into here. Make sure they don't take that back. Which we did get there just in time. And they want to peace out for our current war goal, so I think that's our cue to add another one. Let's see. They're trying to take that back, but we will probably be able to stop them. So we'll decline this peace offer. We will add South Tyrell, I guess. So we should be winning this battle, I think, even though we have the hills and, in fact, a river crossing against us as well. And it's actually not quite as decisive as I would have hoped. Okay, we lost the occupation down there, that's fine. This battle, though, is going much more in our favor. And, in fact, that army was wiped out completely. So, let's have you come up here as well. We might not reinforce this battle, but just attack them again in a second one after this is over. Actually, we probably should just reinforce it. Okay, go ahead. Actually, you go in there and then come out here and we'll use you to deal with this army. Okay, that just kicked them right out of the battle, which is fine. You can finish this occupation and then head here to chase them out of there. You advance to Venice and be ready to reinforce. Oh, actually, they had an army on the way to Venice already. Well, let's just hope that we win. Actually, we'll reinforce with this, and then go there. They want out for our two war goals now. Yeah, we'll allow Ethiopia access, and I guess we'll just add another war goal to Austria. take Istria. I just don't want to add too many war goals and end up with over 100% worth of war goals and maybe not be able to piece out for all of them, but I think we're safe to add this one at least. We might just leave it at here and or leave it here and then leave the last one for an additional war sometime. You can go ahead and take care of that army. You are looking a bit the worse for wear, so why don't you just retreat out here. Reinforce a bit. Okay, extra level of railroads. Uh, let's see what else we can get here. Can we get uh, business banks? We're being occupied by a lot of fairly small armies, which I'm not too concerned about. We'll... Okay, you're headed up there, you'll be able to take care of that. You should be able to deal with this army, I think, and you are in pretty good condition. So we'll have you go up here to take care of this. Actually, this battle here is not going too well, I think, so maybe instead you head here and come reinforce that. 
Oh, maybe it's going fine, actually. Yeah, that's fine, okay. You can head up there. I think we've probably taken out the bulk of Austria's army at this point. They're down to 35 brigades. And now even fewer. Let's see, will you come here and try and catch these little armies? One in Verona, so you can head here and take care of them. They're trying to occupy Trent, but they are probably not going to succeed. Because we are going to send this army down there. You head over here and start occupying. You can split into two. And let's see, head through here. Okay, go over there and start sieging that. You can head up here, start sieging there. You can, after this battle, or in fact, we can maybe just end this war right now. Um, should we add the last war goal? See how much it's going to cost us. 18 war score. I didn't think that's going to put us uh, at a point where we're unable to piece out for the whole thing. Let's go ahead and add it. I think we should probably just take the chance to do it when we can. As soon as possible. We're probably up to about a full 50% from battles now, almost. You can head up to Innsbruck and start sieging. You come out this way in case we need you. So we'll try to focus on occupations as much as possible, since we're not getting much extra war score from battles. I think we have them completely blocked out of coming into this direction with our army placements, unless they can get through here. Seems like not, but they apparently have access through Bavaria, so they can get through that way. Not sure if they can go through Switzerland, but we'll see. Seems like they do have access through Switzerland. We'll wait for this occupation and then use this army to pursue this one and hopefully get rid of it. You are going to get out of there on the 25th. You're not going to catch you and we don't have access through Switzerland, so that's fine. I guess we'll just head there and occupy that for the moment. With any luck, a few more occupations here will see them willing to peace out. Get these troops together and see a slightly better composition than the last time I looked, but we're probably not going to attack anything with that army. Okay, we want another occupation over here. Let's continue advancing. Now they're trying to occupy us back here. I guess we'll just use this army and go and attack them, even though it's mountains. And we have an election starting. Took Trieste. Ethiopia has been east out by Spain. Two more occupations.
Surely you should be willing to peace out pretty soon now. Uh, they're at least within 17% of piecing out, so we'll see. We won this battle, did not wipe out the army. Let's see. Um, actually have you head here. Oh, you can't go straight there. Well, you'll go there and intercept. You can head over here. We'll keep going for reactionaries, I guess. We'll argue for state capitalism. Finish another occupation over here. And we are taking care of this, that's fine. And over there. And we'll say protectionism for that. Just another occupation will move you to here. And it seems like they're not yet willing to peace out still. No, they're, now they're within 8% war score. Okay, they're pretty close, but we're out of time for this episode, unfortunately, so we're going to have to just finish this in the next one. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.